The five whys is a simple technique that can help you find the root cause of the problem. In today's video, we will discuss the technique and share tips on making the most of it. Sometimes things go wrong and your product does not perform as expected. Five whys is easy to use technique that will help you find the root cause of the problem. You ask why question five times to understand the true nature of the problem. Note that five is a rule of thumb. Sometimes you need to ask why three times. Sometimes you must ask six times. You should dive deep enough to get the real root of the problem, not just symptoms. How does the five whys work? You start by defining a problem. A problem is a specific unwelcome situation your business has to deal with. Once you know the problem, you ask why repeatedly to get to the root cause. Why questions will help you lead the chain of events that leads to the problem. Let's take a look at example. Suppose after analyzing conversion on your e-commerce website, you see that 20% of your users cannot complete the checkout procedure. You ask the first why question. Why is this happening? You learn that it happens because user cannot pay for the order. But why can they not pay for the order? Because they cannot find the PayPal option. But why can they not find the PayPal option? Because our website doesn't support PayPal. But why does our website not support PayPal? Because it's not integrated in our billing system. But why is it not integrated into the billing system? Because we assume that nobody will use PayPal. So it turns out that our initial requirements for the billing system were incorrect. Now you know the root cause of the problem. Incorrect technical requirements for the billing system. The true magic of the five whys is that it allows you to understand the nature of your problem. What first appears to be a usability problem ends up being a problem in your product requirements and design process you follow. Another important thing about five whys is that each step should have a corrective action that you can take to improve the situation. Corrective action is something that will prevent the problem from happening again. You should have a corrective action for every level of your five whys. Corrective actions are also called countermeasures. For example, for the step because PayPal is not integrated into the system, corrective action will be add PayPal support. Addressing the causes of the problem at every level will help you prevent the problem from happening again. The final 5Y scheme will look like this. If you learn to fix the problem in this way, you will build a more robust system that will result in fewer problems. Here is what you need to do if you want to run a 5 Y's session. First, don't do it alone. 5 Y's is only as good as the knowledge and expertise of the people using it. That is why you should practice 5 Y's as a team exercise. Invite people who can be affected by a problem or can provide valuable insights about it. Define the problem you want to solve at the start of the meeting. If it's a flying meeting, you can write the problem on the whiteboard. Ask the team why the problem is occurring. Let people discuss the ideas. Ask why four more times. Each next why question should be based on the answer that participants provided in the previous step. Collect countermeasures that the team suggests to take at each level. For each countermeasure, ensure you have a specific person responsible for it and define the metrics that will help you measure the success. You must also want to schedule a follow-up session so that the team understands when the action should be taken. Just like any other technique, 5 Ys has its own challenges. I want to discuss the top 3 challenges as well as recommendations on how to overcome them. First, different people can provide different answers to the why questions. When it happens, the diagram can quickly start to branch out. Instead of having a linear trail, you will have a nested structure with two or more nodes at each level. If you face this problem, you should collect all answers to build a whole picture 
and after that, ask the team members to vote for the most relevant answers. In the end, you will have one or two trails that your team finds the most probable. Second, five whys might not be the most helpful technique if you get the wrong answer to some why question. Wrong answers can break the logic of the trail, but this might not be evident if you read the trail from top to bottom. Is it possible to validate the trail? Yes. You can use this tool in reverse order. Read it line by line from bottom to top to ensure that the trail doesn't have any issues. Because we thought that PayPal was not the preferable method for our users, we didn't integrate it into our system and didn't support it. Because users couldn't find PayPal among the options, they couldn't pay for the order. Sounds logical, right? The 5 Ys technique will help you find the gaps in the answers. For example, you can identify steps where you miss in between answers. Third, you need to ensure that the problem worth solving. When you dig into the root cause of the problem, you can find that a solution to the problem might be very expensive. So, how to ensure that you need to solve it? You must always measure the value the solution brings to your business. Always prioritize problems in accordance with the business value and try to solve the most critical problems first. The 5Y is a good technique that will help you analyze the problem, find the root cause of it, and define countermeasures to help you prevent it. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll never miss a new video. Thank you!